Okay, here I have to prove that a minus b is a factor of a minus b is a factor of a power n minus b power n uh, whenever n is a positive integer. If a and b are distinct distinct integers, uh, here I can write a power n as a power n is equal to uh, a minus b plus b whole to the power of n, right? I can write it like this. So here if I apply the binomial expansion, then what will I get? This is equal to n c 0 a minus b to the power of n into b power 0 plus n c 1 uh, a minus b to the power n minus 1 into b power 1 plus n c 2 a minus b to the power n minus 2 into b square plus so on up to n c n minus 1 into a minus b into b power n minus 1 plus uh, n c n uh, a minus b power 0 which is 1 into uh, b power n right so I know n c n is 1 so this entire term will be simply b power n so if I bring b, b power n to the left hand side I will get a power n minus b power n is equal to uh, n c 0 a power sorry a minus b to the power of n plus n c 1 into a minus b to the power of n minus 1 into b plus n c 2 a minus b to the power n minus 2 into b square plus so on up to n c n minus 1 into a minus b into b power n minus 1 right because I took this term to the left hand side so I will be left with this here I can see that uh, the power of a minus b is going on decreasing from n up to 1 so all the terms have will have power greater than 1 right so I can write it as a minus b into uh, n c 0 a minus b to the power n minus 1 plus n c 1 a minus b to the power of <coughs> a minus b to the power of n minus 2 into b plus n c 2 into a minus b to the power uh, n minus 3 into b square plus so on up till n c n minus 1 right uh, here all the coefficients n c 0 n c 1 up to n c n minus 1 these all are integers and also uh, a and b are distinct integers so a minus b is not 0 uh, or even if it is okay a minus b is may or may not be 0 but uh, it is still an integer so this term will be an integer this term is an integer and similarly all the terms are integers so sum of integers will also be an integer therefore this is entirely an integer right so what I can tell a, a power n minus b power n uh, is a minus b multiplied with an integer that means that a minus b is a factor of a power n minus b power n right because if I divide a power n by minus a power n minus b power n by a minus b I uh, will get the quotient as an integer and the remainder as 0 that means that uh, a minus b is a factor of a power n minus b power n right so this is my answer